And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, on this date in weather history back in 1956, we had a long track, actually 14 mile track, high end F2 tornado that went across the heart of Jasper County from Rensselaer to about Asphaltum with quite a bit of damage. Also significant straight line wind damage northeast of Remington and northeast of Onward in Cass County. Now, after our storms last night, today has turned out to be, you know, a fairly nice day. Windy, warm, all thanks to a cap and dry air from the Rockies and the desert southwest and the high plains. Here we are. A lot of severe weather ongoing down here, but today we've been in this dry slot. There's the upper low spinning right there and very dry air from high elevations in the southwest is blowing eastward. And what this is doing is capping everything upstairs, but also lowering our humidity. Our dew points have dropped a little bit today into the 50s to right around 60 degrees. But I think as we go in time tonight, two ways we're going to get at least some scattered showers and thunder showers. One is the cold front, which is approaching right here, and there's a little cold pocket as you move upstairs in the atmosphere. That'll pop a few scattered showers, thunder showers here that'll pivot in. And also, these severe storm clusters to the south are all moving northeastward, so the northern edges of these may affect us with at least some scattered showers and thunder showers tonight, and there'll even be a few tomorrow. But as that dry air moves from an area of high elevation to lower elevation, it compresses and heats up, so that's why it's 86 degrees degrees at the TV station, 87 Peru and 84 degrees at Remington, but 79 at Morocco. The cooler air will start to come in, especially as the cold front passes tonight. So we're looking at an overnight low 62 degrees by 6 a.m. Blackberry winters on the way. Normally a period of cool weather that gets in here late May and early June. We've got several nights in the low 40s for lows, breezy to windy and much cooler with that. And then dry and nice for the weekend. Memorial Day looks pretty good with some showers and storms by Tuesday. Tonight will drop to the upper 50s to low 60s area wide. 62 Lafayette, 64 Thorntown, 59 Fowler. Tomorrow, everybody's going to be in the generally low 70s from 71 Remington Lafayette to 72 at Kokomo. Cooler on Thursday, though. We're talking about 65 to 70, 66 Lafayette, 65 at Winnemac. Notice tonight again a few scattered showers and thunder showers, not out of the question. And even tomorrow, a few very widely scattered showers and thunder showers can't be ruled out. There's 943, and that's in the afternoon. A little wave of scattered activity goes through. And right now, at least, Thursday is looking better with highs generally running in the 60s. There, I clicked. Again, <laughs> I, I'm always trigger happy. I skip my seven day forecast. There it is again. 67 on Friday, 71 on Saturday, Sunday, 75 right now. Memorial Day, 78 degrees, mostly sunny. And at least right now, looks like the showers and storms will push in here Tuesday. So the timing is good for Memorial Day right now. And the race, right? Yeah, it looks good with temperatures comfortable.